Hi, everybody. Oh, bad start. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm Dan from Cart and Horse. Thank you for buying this material pack for Redshift for Cinema 4D. Today we wanted to walk you through how it works and how you can help use this for your motion graphics workflow. All right, so we're here in Cinema 4D, and we wanted to just show you, here's uh, Pack 01 that we've put together, and we want to show you, here's how we can open it up, walk you through how it works, and how to edit it. So pretty straightforward, you'll see we've got our viewport window, we've got a Redshift render, render window going here, so you can see, here's the material, um, and here's the render view. So we're gonna switch this up really quick and just show you how easy it is to swap this out. Um, looks a little better. We'll go with this one. Okay, so we've opened up our material and inside here, we just want to show you how this is broken down. So you could see the RGB mask that we have in the tileable texture. And really what that's doing is that is creating a mask for three PBR texture slots that we have. So we kept this fairly minimal. If you want to use solid colors, RGB values, or do any sort of, of uh, post corrections or image corrections or whatever it is you want to do, you can modify these as you see fit. But the way these are set up now, we have our scale for blue, scale for green, so we can scale each texture set independently. Um, and this really just gives you a degree of control. So if we're using leather or fabric or wood or whatever it is you want to use in that texture slot, you can control that texture scale independently. We also have an option set up here for triplanar scaling as well. So if you don't want to deal with UV mapping or UV space, you can override that for each one and you just have the options. Um, base color, roughness, and normal are how these packs are set up. Um, you could use some of these for emissive or other channels however you want. All of these pipe into a material channel, and then all three of these come together, and I'll zoom in down here. We have our mat set up, with, and this is what holds the RGB value. So if you want to make more of these or modify them or do whatever, these all pipe in and we control these independently. So we minimize this back out. You can see we have gold, black leather, and this white fabric. In all of these, you can go in and swap out different PBR materials. If you're using mega scans, if you have your own material library, um, these patterns really work in addition to that. So you can swap these out, and there's all sorts of great effects that you can get with these. Um, you apply these to a surface, scroll down and found, find something that's uh, a little more interesting. And we're gonna throw this onto our Studio C. So you can start to see a little bit in here of how this applies. I'm gonna break out of the camera here and zoom around. Um, so we have this on here. I'll go in and tweak this a little bit. We're gonna open up the pineapples here. So let's crank this up to the number of tile values. So we're at two, we went to one. So if we crank this up to 10, you can start to see how this starts applying. Then all of these have different values. So you can make these metal, you can tweak these however you would like, but you can start to see how you can quickly mix and match these um, to get different effects and just play around with them. Loads of possibilities. Um, you can, we have a material slot. You can pipe this into a missive as well. Um, great lighting effects, all sorts of good stuff. Thank you guys for buying this material pack. Please reach out to us if you have any questions whatsoever. We've had a lot of fun using these. We hope you do too. Bye everybody.